everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I have company with me. I have Emily. Emily, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim, say hi too. Hi. See, Marcus. we're all here. Hi, we're, people. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but you probably said not what you're supposed to say, but that's okay. Um, did you? I said hi, Mary Grace, and then yeah. I said hi, people. No, it's supposed to be. Oh, no, Grace. Gotta <laughs> change it. That's okay. I can't change it. It's in there. That's my name. <laughs> yep, okay. Today, I want to talk about braggers. Are you a bragger? Or are you a self-promoter? Is that a nicer way of saying that you're a bragger? You're a bragger. Self-promoter. And the reason I was thinking of that is something came up that I was thinking on TV, was it? Yeah. Did I said something up? Brag, brag, brag. The, uh, the they way were, that they talk. <sighs> I've had 17 surgeries. Well, I've had 14. Or I've had 14 surgeries. Well, I've had 17. Is what made it come to my mind. And it was like, that's like saying, my dog's bigger than your dog. <laughs> Remember that my advertisement? My truck's bigger than your truck. Your truck? I don't have a truck. <laughs> I have a car. My truck's bigger than your car. I have more seats in my car. <laughs> And Emily, what do you have? <laughs> it's like that song, anything you can do, I can do better. Well, I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes. Can, you bake, can you bake a pie? No. Well, neither can I. <laughs> can you jump a hurdle, even in a girdle? No. No? Well, I bet I could. <laughs> oh, that talk about hurdles and girdles? <laughs> we were testing to see how old we are just a few minutes ago. I guess we're not going to talk about self-promoter <laughs> or braggers or something. We might go back to that. I never know. But anyways, we were testing to see how old you are and how long did you have to stand on? You have to close your eyes, right? Close your eyes and then try to stand on one foot for as long as you can. With if your you, eyes shut? With your eyes closed. And if you don't last longer than seven seconds, you're probably somebody in your 60s. Ooh, and I did it for the first, well, when I first tried on the right, I was trying to stand on my right foot. And I'd get one, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I wasn't getting very far. Then I tried my left foot and I went up to 18. And I went one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then I did the, the right foot and I got up to ten. So I guess I'm still not in my 60s. I am. I have horrible <laughs> balance. <laughs> she didn't make it very far. Let's see about people that bragged. I wasn't one that bragged about my kids. I, didn't, I don't even carry pictures of my kids. So if you wanted to see my kids, you're not going to see them. And... I don't even share my grandkids' pictures. I don't even carry those. My battery's blinking. I'm going to have to change that. I don't know where I was on this. Emily was telling us about a movie that you can choose different endings. What was the movie? Oh, there's a couple on Netflix now. There's two with a survivalist named Bear Gillis. The first one is You vs. Wild. I'm not sure what the other one's title is, but that one you have to rescue lost animals. And then there was one called Bandersnatch. That's another choose-your-own-ending movie. Remember those books that you could decide whether you're going to go this way or that way? I even had a book that you turned upside down to get a different to get a different ending if you wanted to go to a different ending. Or you'd choose, or it'd have the, the, read only the things in the italics or in the parentheses, and that was going to give you one ending, and then you read something else in a different ending. That was something that we had a long time now, ago. The, the Netflix movies, to play them, uh, to do the choose your stuff, we think you have to do it on a tablet or a phone. Possibly. But you might be able to do it from a TV. We've never know. tried it. Didn't try it. On the, on the self-promoting again, I'll, I'll go back to that <laughs> a little bit. Um, people do it to draw attention to themselves. They're trying to make themselves sound more important than what they really are. Like if you, if you ever look at social media, I don't because it got to the point where all you saw was I'm eating at this fancy restaurant or I've um, been to these fancy places with beautiful scenery and stuff like that which 
you're only seeing the best part, like Emily said one time, she says, you only see the best part of their lives. You don't see their whole life. They want to be admired. I said, self-promoters want to be admired and envied. That's why they say all the stuff they say. And do you want to hear it? Are we as excited about it as they are trying to make themselves sound excited? No. And if you were to do a survey of, do you avoid people that like to brag or do you seek them out? I gathered eggs. <laughs> and I do every day. It was raining this morning when I opened the door to let the dog out, and the dog really didn't want to go out. But I told him, go potty. And so then he runs out, and guess where he goes? He goes under the enclosed part of the porch. So guess what he did there, probably? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll be cleaning that off. I did let the chickens out. They came out after a while because it did stop raining, and the rain had melted a lot of the snow, So there's, but there's still a lot of snow out there. What did you do just before we came out here? I stood on my one leg. No, no, no. Just before that. <laughs> before we got the camera and everything. I put my lipstick on. <laughs> no, before that. I don't know. What did I... Oh, I made popcorn. <laughs> Molly's <laughs> telling me. She goes, you went like this. Yes, I did. This is the sign for popcorn. In oh. case you want to know. It goes boop, 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 popcorn. Okay. Yeah, I... Emily came... Why did Emily come over? Because I wanted popcorn. Because <laughs> she wanted popcorn. <laughs> and her popper works better than mine. Mine makes the popcorn really chewy and like rubber. So I made popcorn. Now we have to wash the popper. Because you got to be very careful with it. That popper is about 40 years old and the plastic on top is getting quite brittle. So you got to be very careful. This one is not quite that old. We've replaced it. We replaced it once? Yeah. But it's probably 15 or 20 years ago we replaced it. So it's, so it's getting brittle. It's still The heat old. causes the plastic top to get brittle. It's a stir-crazy. If you want a real good popcorn maker, stir-crazies work great. Yep. They, uh, we don't put any butter or anything on because you can do that, but we don't do that. We just um, pop the popcorn with the coconut oil, and that is all we do. And then we salt it. So that's it. So that's all I have for today. I guess we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>